After more than 35 years, Michael Keaton makes his return as Beetlejuice with Jenna Ortega by his side. The cult movie established Tim Burton as a top director for fantastic films once and for all in 1988, followed by works such as Batman, Edward Scissorhands, and Sleepy Hollow. Now the sequel, Beetlejuice 2, is finally to be released. Well-known stars from the classic will return, but there will also be famous new cast members. In this preview, we'll give you all the current information. Enjoy! The first part was about the poltergeist Beetlejuice, who is supposed to assist a deceased couple in driving away the new family in their house. However, as he turns out to be an extremely unpleasant contemporary, the two must do everything they can to stop Beetlejuice. In doing so, they are supported by Lydia, the daughter of the house's new residence. In the end, they succeed in putting the poltergeist in his place, and Lydia embarks on a new life together with the ghost couple. Regarding the story of Beetlejuice 2, it is already known that the poltergeist and Lydia will meet again. Her daughter is also expected to play a key role in the plot. There is already a lot of speculation on the net as to who the father will be, and whether Beetlejuice himself has something to do with it. After all, he even wanted to marry Lydia in part one. Marriage also seems to be a topic in the sequel. First pictures from the set show, for example, leading actress Jenna Ortega in a pink wedding dress, while mother Lydia still prefers a dark look. Given the crazy backstory, a very normal life seems rather improbable. The one or other voodoo witchcraft will surely play a role, and the predecessor already made it clear that Lydia possesses certain supernatural powers. She can communicate with spirits, after all. The team behind Beetlejuice 2 sounds very promising. Tim Burton will once again be responsible for directing the movie and implementing a script by Alfred Guff and Miles Miller. The two previously wrote Wednesday for Netflix. Danny Elfman, a longtime friend of Tim Burton's who has composed the music for many of his films, including Burton's Batman films, Edward Scissorhands, and the first Beetlejuice, will again provide the score. The film is being produced by Brad Pitt and his production company, Plan B. Filming began in the summer of 2023 partly at the same locations as the previous film. However, due to the actor's strike in the United States, they have been suspended for the time being. Fans of Beetlejuice can look forward to a reunion with some familiar faces. Batman actor Michael Keaton returns as the titular poltergeist. Although there was criticism that a ghost could hardly look 35 years older, Keaton noted that he already looked like he was 150 years old beneath all that makeup. Stranger Things star Winona Ryder is also back as Lydia, the role that helped her break through in her career in the late 80s. Catherine O'Hara played Lydia's mother in 1988 and is also returning. The currently biggest name in the cast of Beetlejuice 2 is certainly Jenna Ortega, who was not only impressive in Scream 5 and Scream 6, but also achieved a lot of fame in Tim Burton's Wednesday series. In Beetlejuice 2, she will play Lydia's daughter. Also cast are big stars such as Willem Dafoe and Justin Thoreau. By the way, Beetlejuice seems to have gotten over Lydia in the meantime, as none other than Monica Bellucci will play the wife of the crazy tease. Nothing is known about the involvement of the other two main actors from part one, namely Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis. Here, it might be more difficult to explain the 35-year age difference between the ghost couple, but we are excited to find out whether there will be at least a small cameo appearance. Based on the latest plans, Beetlejuice 2 is scheduled to open in theaters on September 6, 2024, and should once again provide both scares and laughter in one film. According to main actor Michael Keaton, the film should be in no way inferior to the original in terms of humor and offer a similar amount of fun. We can't wait to see it. What do you think? Are you optimistic that the sequel will match the quality of the original? Are you fans of Tim Burton? And if so, which one is your favorite movie? Let us know in the comments!